And tonight we honor black history. News 2's Nikkel Smith talked with a professor at Tennessee State University. He is working with tech giant Apple to bring North Nashville civil rights impact straight to your fingertips. What we tried to do was to amplify marginalized voices. We tried to look and listen to people that had been lost from the, the larger narrative. If the walls and streets of North Nashville could talk, all the stories they'd tell. And Dr. LaRotha Williams hears some of those tales from storytelling pros at local barbershops. I would go there and a lot of the elders that were there were TSU alums. And so once they found out that I wasn't up to any nefarious sort of activities. They began to open up and began to tell me stories about civil rights and other things, things that um, might have been known under the surface, but um, you know, hadn't been talking about in public or academic spaces. Stories he wants to bring from their memories to the palm of your hand. To be frank, um, the city has done a very poor job of telling these stories until recently. Dr. Williams is an associate professor of African American and public history at Nashville's Tennessee State University. He's working with tech giant Apple to create an app that shares how North Nashville and TSU impacted Music City's civil rights story. We have a building on campus, Elliott Hall which I would make the argument is one of the most important, the most important buildings in the city. And I say that because a lot of the students that participated in the civil rights movement in the city, in the Nashville movement, were recruited right there, right there in the cafeteria. It used to be the cafeteria. Another story he'll share is about Z. Alexander Luby. According to Historic Nashville Inc., he was the most important civil rights attorney in the state and one of two black city councilmen when his home was bombed on April 19, 1960. The silent march that um, occurred in the aftermath of the bombing of the home of Z. Alexander Luby began at TSU, at the at the airplane, like they call it on campus, but it's actually a jet. A mission taking flight with his students working on the app too. William says it's not just stories from the 1960s, but they'll look back to the 1930s and 40s and jump ahead to the TSU students in the social justice fight happening to this day. And it will allow us to tell a story that celebrates us, that celebrates TSU, that celebrates North Nashville, that gives our stories and our truths. And that was News 2's Nikkel Smith reporting for us. Williams says that they are working to get that app launched by fall of 2022.